This man from Salwezi with the severe skin disease, which was eating him up, came to the last cathedral to be prayed for by the man of God. In the process of praying for him, the man of God being used by the Holy Spirit told the man the exact condition and what doctors told him, which the man himself confirmed. In conclusion, the man of God gave a prophetic word of knowledge that the man would be free by 13th April. I climbed up to the highest mountain, looked all around. Uh, so what, what's wrong? Uh, that rush, what's, what, what happened to you? What, what is it? The whole body is like this. The hands and does it itch? Yes. It itches. Where are you from? From Sorez. What's your name? When did it start? Second March this year. Where is your wife? She's in Sorez. How many children do you have? Five. Do you see yourself sleeping with a woman in the night? Do you see yourself eating in the night? Do you see yourself in the graveyards? Walking with dead people? <laughs> Look at him. A demon will live like that. Masika yarama sindarama yeke terebe. This thing that he has, at one time, he may not remember himself or he can remember. He had a woman that he was going out with, and that woman died. It's a past thing. Now that woman is being used by demons to haunt his life. He's about to die. But you are blessed to be here. What do you say? Tell, tell, tell your story, tell your story. These people. Uh, me, I'm saying from what my boss is telling me. It is true. Hey. <laughs> now, if it is true, why should God tell him his life and leave him to die? Listen. What date is this one? Today is faith first. Faith first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Thirteen. Listen. On the thirteenth day. On the thirteenth day of the month April, all this disease, there will be no trace of it in your body. These things of yours, when they begin to itch, they even itch in your ears and in your eyes. Sometimes they are itching inside of your skin. You want to, to scratch and then blood is coming out. Even yesterday, even today. Everyone say my miracle is today. My miracle is today. I'm being delivered. I'm being delivered. Because, God knows my story. because God knows my story. He knows what I'm going through. Today your healing begins by 13th of April. That must be what? A Saturday. 
Okay? 13th April must be a Saturday. When you sleep and wake up, because demons have started to pack right now, your body, they put poison in your body, these demons. And then the hospital says worms. Huh? They told you they are worms, not so. Oh, oh, oh. oh Yahweh. Now, before you get your miracle, lift your hands towards him. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Tell him now, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Your presence makes me. Lord, set him free, set him free, set him free. Forgive all his sins. Let the blood wash him right now. Blood of Jesus come upon you. Blood of Jesus come upon you. Blood of Jesus. The blood is washing you, my brother. The blood. The blood. The blood. Mr. Lombanya Levy. Just look at him. <laughs> hey. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. God is good. You know, this God is good. And uh, all that I can say, prophetic is according to your faith. If you saw me, I think you watched me there. Ah, wakajwa miki mana iki ya ikuno. Naya na, come, come, come. Uh, what I can say is me am wekaonde, but today I'm going to speak Bemba mixing with Kaonde a little bit. Because today I'm very happy. I'm a happy person today. Together with my wife. This one, she's a brave wife. This one. Ngabali mbutu ike inefyo na re moneka Ngabali ya kumiabo Pantu inena kunchito Bali intanfi ya murandu wabudi abu inobudu Werebo mwachira atamba Ne nchito ya alipwa No kubomba nshare bomba No mbalesa wamaka Lelo I am Andy Sam Today When I heard that there will be uh, the Easter conference in Shingola, 
I said, no, my wife, although I don't have money, please, can we borrow some money from other places, maybe from pastors or from uh, anywhere? I want to go there. Ah, uh, no, you can't. Uh, you, there's no one who can give you money. Just see what you are looking like. I said, no, my wife, can you try? Then she went to her friend. They borrowed me the money. How much? Uh, 50,000 kwacha. She escorted me at the station on Friday, 13 hours. I came at the, at the station at 13 hours waiting for the transport. And that day is the day you started this Easter on Friday. But for me, it was difficult to travel from Sorezi to come here. I even phoned Pastor, uh, Pastor Mwari that, please Pastor, can you pray for me? I don't know what is happening to me. Until 15 hours, but Madam Everawe in an eye of Uganda, when they win on a joke, 1730 by some bona, Nifka Pangan, Atamuire, and a child transport in a shopper. A chawe, Temurand. Yawe, Karen, if you got enough issue, Pefint, Natinka, my hero. Well, watch it all, Shadow Passata Day. I forced myself to come here on Saturday. On Sunday, I seated somewhere there. Then the bishop says, uh, those who are sick, please come here. Bonse tu alimine, na inena alisa imine na kunta nshoku. Vambire no kupepa, nero vafikire parine. Efi ya bala ndire ba bishopu, efi ya limumu tima wandi, na mubiri wandi. Umfu efi dipa mubiri ove. Kawa kusorezi na ishile wewa fenati na mwishiwa ine nangu mure mbonefi Ine pathe itini uvulwele wandini nishiwa apwa Na kuchipata ala Na kuchipata ala nshaka yeko Ine pathe itini uvulwele wandini nishiwa apwa Hero tuafikile pa 12 na ishile tumafoni na tiba pasta Ine uvulwele na uvupwa nshikuwe chovulwele Nale Europa nondera nda mkwai Tapari nefi haku ifuenya fuenya Awe mkwai ni mpola Ni mpola Nale fila noko vati nika kena taibu ino wino Awe leo nika kafe wino Sana Kwe na le sawa maka Le refo nalala ndako nalala ndoko vati Oku kwa te chete kero muli le sa Mkwai, ubu ntevula bomba. Kairu kwa te chetekelo muli lesa. Profetiki ila bomba. Kuli ne, nafi bomba. Mkwai, lesa abalu njire kwa nshikuwa bishop weso. Taba kwa to mpaka, bale bomba ngefeo yesu kristu wale bomba. Ta kwete boundary yo. Lesa amipare wa bishop. Lesa amipare mkwai. Na sante ya kine kine, ni sempeji. Na ine mkwai, ndeto telafekuli lesa. Pantu yufi ya liyawe na mwanji, shia ishi voku wa tukti wa ave fidelo. Efa wa ishi renji voku wa tibalanda wa bishop wa tibate tini ni shuri febu ino. Chia liko mkutu ishi kafidia, no mbawe ya nebali kwete chichete kero. Chiachi ni chete kolo chiavo, lelo na wabu kwa mwishile ya ba Yesu. Haleluya! With me here is my brother who had come with a condition of rash all over his body. And the hospitals tried to treat him and according to him he had no breakthrough. I'm sure he will give us his account but first he will tell us his name and where he's from. Good afternoon viewers, uh, my name is uh, Lombanya Levi, I am from Solwezi, 
Uh, I was being suffered for this uh, uh, skin disease for three months since February. But when I heard that uh, uh, there will be the Easter conference in Chingora at Pastor Kajira Joseph's church, so I, I said, no, I will go there. I want to be prayed for because I went to the hospital. They gave me some drugs. I tried. They gave me something to rub on, but nothing was happening. So when I came here, uh, the pastor prayed for me, and he told me that uh, you'll be healed. You are lucky to be here because even if the doctor was saying these are worms, these are not worms, these are the spiritual, you had a spiritual wife, she's the one who's been doing this. And for sure, even my wife says, yeah, yes, it's true, because uh, uh, sometimes I was been doing, uh, dreaming, sleeping with a dead woman. But when the pastor prayed for me, uh, viewers, I'm telling you, I was completely uh, healed. On instantly, I'm saying, uh, that day when the pastor prayed for me, I was even feeling that uh, all the pains we are getting cool and when i went home to solwezi on 12 april because the pastor told me that you'll be healed and all this will be finished on 13th april and on 12 april uh, when i waked up in the morning i find that all the rushes everything was gone and i thank you god for this and i'm sure I'm encouraging you, all the viewers, that when you have faith in Jesus, viewers, please don't waste your time. Come to Jesus. Come to Pastor Kajira's church. I'm telling you, you'll be healed if you have got faith in Jesus Christ. Um, it has affected my life because I was even at work. I was being fired because uh, uh, the company says, no, we cannot work with someone, uh, somebody who's looking like you. I was even feeling shy to eat with my friends. I was even feeling shy to walk, but it, uh, it affects everything to my life. But as at now, now I'm known, I know that now I'm free. God has helped me. So what can you say once again to the viewers about what God has done for you? Uh, what I can say to the viewers is just, um, they can just have faith in Jesus. And uh, they cannot just waste their time to maybe to be going just to the witchcraft, to the, the do, uh, witch doctors. Come to Jesus. Jesus never fails. If you have faith in Jesus, like what I had in my, uh, my, my heart, I had faith in Jesus. Even now, I have faith in Jesus. So my viewers, I'm telling you that please just have faith in Jesus. Whichever problem, whichever circumstance which is coming from uh, against you, it will be free and you'll be healed. God never fails. So there you are viewers, the man looking so normal. The, the, the first time that we saw him, he was bleeding. There was uh, just blood all over his face and his hands. And we thought he was light. But now his face has been restored. He looks like a baby and he looks very good. We give thanks to God. What shall we say to these miracles, signs and wonders which God is doing among his people who believe through the hands of his anointed servants? God, you are so faithful and you fulfill the words of your servants, the prophets. People, it's so amazing as true to the word of the man of God. Mr. Lombanya was free and his skin and health restored by the prophesied death. 